All right, guys, welcome back to the ESR. We're talking with our YouTubers, Chaos Silencer, Optic Midnight, and Cross, one of our YouTube snipers, joining us for today's show as we talk advanced warfare. In the first segment, we talked a little bit about movement, um, our thoughts on the, the new game modes. Really excited for momentum. Uh, really excited to see Uplink. Will it be a competitive game mode that we'll see here at MLG? But now it's time to talk a, a little bit more into the specifics, and I want to start things off with the sniper discussion. Uh, Cross, in most of your YouTube videos, you are using the sniper as your primary. I saw you using a one-shot pistol as a secondary, <laughs> and it seems like a very effective combo. Talk to yeah. me a little bit about your your first impressions using the sniper rifle in Advanced Warfare. Um, first impressions were kind of rough because it, it, I was getting used to the maps. You don't know what you're doing, and as a sniper, you need to know spawns. You need to know where to be, where you're safe, where you're not safe. Um, and even if you're aggressive, you don't know where people are going to run up on you, and that kind of hurts you because your slow reaction time you have to be on point um, when i first sat down and played it took a while to get used to the map it took a while to get used to the actual weapon itself and then the movement so it's kind of overwhelming at first but throughout the day um you got a bit more frequent more uh i guess acquainted with where the game is and how people you kind of take um and you're able to actually start getting kills and being consistent and get a kill streak and working your way up there sniping itself i thought it was fine at the end of the game uh, played you know 12 15 games and i was like okay sniping's possible and i think it's here to stay okay so it, it's not something that you think is going to be extremely challenging or, or too um, challenging to even I try think, i think people that are sniping now in previous games they're going to have a hard time uh if they're not willing to sit down and kind of suffer like they're going to get kicked in the face like right. it's going to be a shock for them initially getting used to the movement new maps all of that um, and the weapons that they have and the time to kill that they have, they're always at that disadvantage. But if they stick with it and they put up and they actually want to snipe in this game and make videos, make montages, commentaries, whatever it may be, I think you're going to have people that stand above everyone else. Um, it's going to separate that skill gap, definitely. It definitely seems like a very talented uh, attack, one of the, the toughest guns out of the gates. And, and I wanted yeah. to ask you a follow-up on this. I saw in your YouTube videos all kinds of comments about hit markers versus when you were getting kills was okay. there any way for you to kind of determine that yeah i'm gonna have to put another bullet in this guy or like i'm gonna I have really to shoot him like again? I deserve that kill um the only time i think i really ever got a hit marker um was when someone ran basically boosts your health real quickly for like three seconds um, and then it has a big giant plus icon on the screen and you can tell uh, when you actually get a kill though, I think it's a different color. I want to say it's like yellow or orange or something like that. So you can actually see who you're killing versus getting. Okay. Sorry. You cut out there at the very end, but a different oh. color when you actually got the kill on your yeah, hit markers. You, you get a kill like white hit marker, if I remember correctly. Uh, Midnight or, or Chaos, did either of you guys try out the sniper in, in the few games that you had an opportunity to play? Sure, I did for about 45 seconds, and I put it up. Put it in the back, pull back out yeah. that SMG. Midnight, yeah. what about you? Yeah, I kept, I don't know, for some reason, I thought I was going to be there forever playing all day. Uh, so I was like, oh, I'll just do that later. But I did have a sniper class made. I used it for, like, maybe the part of, like, an overtime CTF. And I got three kills in 40 seconds with it. Uh, my first impressions were that it's doable but it's not easy you know it's not going to be like modern warfare 3 or modern warfare 2 where it's super easy to quick scope everyone's on the level playing field you know it's going to be a challenge uh which i like a challenge so i can't wait to, to try it out more man the, the new verticality just takes that to the next level it reminds me a lot once again of unreal having to get those really tough shots midair so let's let's take it to you jimmy now you're known for your your best weapon video series now now talk to me i saw already you have a video up for one of the assault rifles but what do you feel is the best um class to be playing with would you go smg ar what would you suggest for for new players on day one well I, either one of those i uh, i would say would probably be a good choice you the, the shotgun and obviously the learning curve with the sniper <laughs> class is a lot different there's a shotgun in there that favorite gun in the game period it's just it, it's amazing but with that being said it doesn't have tons of range so once again if you're a, if you're a new person you probably want to stick with the uh, the ars and the smgs i would say ars if you're just brand new to the game and you're new to call of duty and you get this game because they're pretty forgiving and there was three that were unlocked in there and all three of them were very very well balanced and depending on what you, what you put on them 
and of course how you create the the pick 13 class around the gun there's there's a lot of good things you can do there especially if you're not that type of running gunner guy if you're trying to feel out the map stuff like that because it's really easy to just get going and not stop and uh, like midnight was saying being aware of your your mini map and your surroundings in this game the audio in this game is phenomenal you can hear oh yeah everything. i mean it, they were even we were in the we were doing a, a tour of the studio and we went in with the guy and two two big things one was he was showing us what all into went went into just a gunshot sound sound and yeah then, and then the ambiance of let's say you throw a grenade in the rocks it's gonna go off different. It's gonna sound different to everybody than if you throw a grenade in the sand on the beach on Defender. Um, so it's it's phenomenal. But I would say I would say ARs are definitely probably the way to go if you're if you're brand new to the series and you're you're brand new to this game. And uh, what about you, Midnight? What did you gravitate towards right away? And was there any specific gun that you saw yourself sticking with? Uh, well, like I said, uh, I like grabbing the submachine guns in any Call of Duty and just kind of playing aggressively and feeling it out. Um, the BAL-27 is actually an assault rifle that I started off with. I was having success with that, so I got a couple gameplays with that. I'm like, okay, let me try the subs. So I think, I believe it's called the KF-5, uh, which is the gun that kind of reminds me of the MP-5. Even the iron sights look pretty similar. Uh, so that was the submachine gun that I used predominantly, and I found it to, you know, slap a silencer on there and kind of as much as you can try to sneak in this game, try to sneak towards them and, and get behind them and, and get those kills with the sub. And Cross, gun of choice, my friend. What were gun you using? Choice. What was most effective for you? Uh, most effective? as like This is going to sound hilarious. The RW1. Just, no, like, okay, I love sniping, but it's not that effective. Like, if, if you're good at it, okay, congratulations. But if you want to be effective in this game, anything like an AR or that shotgun, like the TAC-19 is hilarious up close. Like, if you're going TAC-19 or a SMG and you're aggressive and you're good at it, you're going to have so much fun in this game because you're just quick, you're mobile, and the TAC-19 is literally just this beast of a shotgun. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Kimbo models. It should probably be patched. It but will be. No yeah, it, it will be. And I, really I don't nice. think we'll be seeing that in competitive no. play. But... I want to throw something in really quick. We're just, oh, yeah. okay, we're just talking about base guns here, too. Yeah. This doesn't even bring in the the custom guns that come through no this not at all drops. i mean it's gonna be crazy man it, i'm so excited i mean loot in call of duty is something that i did not expect and as soon as i heard it was coming i was like why not this is genius it should have been in there now we're gonna see supply drops being so important to see what guns you're gonna be able to unlock let's take it from the weapons to the exo abilities jimmy you did a fantastic job breaking down all of the perks as well as the exo abilities that are available to the players uh, walk me through some of your favorite exoskeleton abilities well i i don't want to get hate for this but i i definitely tried out the the cloak because uh -huh. everybody wanted to know um was it going to be overpowered and i can i can honestly say my feedback and i think cross and midnight will agree is that it wasn't overpowered at all it only lasts for about 10 seconds and you can still see the person it's not like they are completely invisible you see right through them you can see that outline so that one right i just wanted to, to put that to bed people are like oh my god you it doesn't look. last that long either yeah people it doesn't last very long for 30 minutes no yeah so i just wanted to put that to bed but probably i would say my favorite one was i don't know i, I really like the overclock which made you faster for a short period of time, kind of yeah. like the Death Streak juice. I hate to say Death Streak, but but the other one would Never be <laughs> the other one would probably be Stim. Um, and the reason I say that is because <laughs> it's going to be interesting seeing people go try to break a hard point and they they juice themselves uh, juice themselves up for ten seconds to have an advantage in that gunfight. So, uh, in a lot of the gameplays, I actually saw you using the shield. Midnight Cross. Did either of you guys try the shield out at all? Um, I don't think I, I might have had it on a default class and I used it once. Um, I, I know Chaos had some experience with it because I was looking through some of his gameplay, but um, it didn't seem to last very long. You know, you press a button and it pops up, you know, it takes a little while. So if you don't press it right away, you're going to get killed. And they can shoot uh, under you. They can kill, they can shoot your, your feet. Oh, with it. yeah, they can shoot through it too. Like, I think it only takes so much damage before it breaks or something like that. Okay. Uh, but the timer's like five or like just burst seconds. With it. But you can yeah. play peekaboo with it. I, I played yeah, peekaboo a couple times and got some guys with it for sure. 
I know when I was playing, I, I was using it kind of to get to a safe place to reload with my AR. So yeah, it's, um, a, it's a good backup for that. Once again, these EXO, the the EXO abilities, they're almost just like they only last a one, little, they one just, life. They, they define the the suit a little more. They're not overpowered at all, and they only like you said, they only last one life. So it's it's just this little advantage you could try to get in a certain situation. For one gunfight, maybe. Give they're not take. game changers. They're they're not gonna affect the game. In a, in a huge way. Midnight, did you have a favorite? I really like the overclock, uh, especially playing game modes like Uplink and CTF. You grab, you know, that objective and you just start running, you're booking it. And I think you can even use like some uh, some greed, get two EXO abilities. Maybe you could use cloaking and overclock to kind of be that sneaky objective player. Um, I'm excited about the abilities, uh, but obviously I don't think they're overpowered in any way. I think that if you use them intelligently, you're going to have the upper hand on your opponent. Uh, so it's it's pretty balanced. Seems pretty balanced. I'm excited about it. Now, uh, I saw a lot of concern in the comments for what we thought saw was the ping or, or whatever allowed oh, you to that. see something on the other side. Love ping. Yeah, uh, Cross, talk me through this. How does this okay. work? Is it a is it a grenade or is this actually an ability ping, that you're using? Ping is an ability. It basically gives you a little bit of radar, um, in a sense, on your on your HUD, in a sense. Uh, if someone's shooting their weapon, it kind of shows up like a UAV. But if someone uses their EXO ability, it highlights them for a period of time. Um, I used it for sniping because if you run into someone and they're in a doorway, close quarters, you can see where they're at. And you go, okay, I'm not going to run through there. You know, I'm not going to get shot in the face when I walk through that door. Mm -hmm. um, so you can kind of change how your play style is and kind of trap people into working into like walking into your scope or something like that. Um, is it kind of OP in a way? Sort of, but it only lasts five, six seconds. So I think people are going to use it once and they only get to use it that one time. Using it at the right time is what's going to be important. Um, but if you use it right, you know, you're going to be able to get a couple kills and play other people um, pretty pretty easily. All right, so overall consensus, nothing overpowered, nothing that you feel is a, a must equip on day one. Well, the, the shotgun's going to be packed. What is the, uh, it's that has to be the perk? It's a blast suppressor. It hides your exo movement. Yeah. So that completely takes ping out of the picture. You can't use it for people that are running around ping. Um, and you don't show up on the radar at all when you use it. So... I think that'll be a must. Like, that's going to be a have to have. I love the picks and counter picks. Um, let's go over from exo abilities to grenades now. Um, a lot of people confused on how the grenades are going to work. It looks like no longer are we going to see any baseball throws or lobs with the grenades. They're all going to be pumped out of the left arm. Were you guys using anything other than frag or semtex nades? What did you guys play with? What was uh, your favorite experience? Starting with you, Silencer. Um, I tried out, I obviously I used the frag. Um, I tried smoke once because I wanted to, to see like how thick it was. It, it was pretty thick, not gonna lie. Um, there was, there was one, I don't even remember if, if I used it, but there was one that everybody's talking about and I believe it's the, the spike drone. And uh, there it's, it's one where you shoot it out of your wrist and then you can, you can retract it. You can actually bring it back. And maybe the one we saw in the trailer that he shot into the guy. I think you have to actually stick it to a person to kill him. Okay. Um, that one looked interesting. The variable grenade, which is uh, a mixture of, I think, the smoke, the EMP, the threat, and maybe the frag or the stun or something like that. That could be interesting because you can obviously pick from the four of them. So, I okay. mean, but I stuck with the frag and the, and the stun for the most part. Did anyone else play with the variable grenade and really figure out how that thing functions? Um, I don't... Variable grenade, I'm trying to think. I didn't. I don't no. think I played with that one. All I right. mean, I, I know how it functions. You can switch from either four of those, the EMP, the smoke, the threat, or the stun, so, I believe. Do you select right before you, like, throw it? I, I don't, I don't, I didn't see it in game. I just, oh, I know I that's what it, what it says okay. about it. But I'm going to be hunting it's, on it's YouTube. It's way different. It's way different shooting these things out of your wrist. Yeah. Than it was cooking them or, or. It's like almost instantly. It just yeah, it, and, gone. but they also, they, they have a lot more, life to him like bounce um i know prestigious key was saying he shoot his grenade or his frag and you gotta you have to time these things because that thing will bounce through a hallway out the door down the cliff if you if you don't cook it right so it's a whole different feel from anything we've done with grenades and tacticals in the past it's gonna be an interesting adjustment for everyone yeah. i'm kind of excited for it did uh you get a chance to play with any of the grenades midnight or were you really just sticking with your running gun play style 
Yeah, you know, I stuck with the frag and the Simtex. Obviously, I wanted to see how those operate. And then that spike drone, um, it, I guess that's kind of like the substitute for the tomahawk or the throwing knife from what I've gathered is you just you throw good, it and if you hit point. them, obviously, that's, that's a kill. And then you could actually call it back to you, which I wondered if I could kill somebody if I threw it and then called it back, how that trajectory could affect somebody else, hit him, or I'm not sure how that would really work. But the fact that it can come back to you is definitely interesting to me, and I can't wait to play with it more and, and try it out. I have a feeling we'll see it in a lot of montages. Uh, final yeah. thoughts on the grenades cross. Um, there's only one that I noticed a lot of community members had issues with, and that was like the tracking drone. It's like basically not the tracking drone. No, the tracking it's the drone. explosive drone. Explosive drone. Yeah. drone it's yeah. the explosive drone. Like the tracking drone allows you. It's like a portable radar. You shoot it out, and it flies around and finds people. That to me is fine. I used it. It's whatever. Um, you can use perks to counter it, but the uh, explosive drone is what got blown up on Reddit today in COD competitive. They were kind of touchy. They're like, all right, why is this in here? And for me, you know, it's kind of cheap in a sense. You throw it out there and it finds someone and then blows up in their face. Okay. But there's so many perks to counter that and it moves really slow. So I think like if you're sitting around not moving, obviously, uh, you know, you're probably going to get killed by one. But if you put blind eye on, you're good to go. But that's the only questionable one that I saw. Um, on the move, it killed me three times in a row. It was enough for me to mention it to to the developers. It's like, hey, you have something like the IMS? Oh, yeah, we got this explosive drone that has a little red light that beeps. So you'll, you're going to see more from the explosive drone in the community before it's all said and done. All right. Well, guys, we're going to a quick commercial break. When we come back, still one major topic to discuss. That is going to be perks and our pick 13 classes. We'll be right back with more live here on the ESR. <laughs> 